Hey everyone, my name is SK and welcome to our third Medieval Dynasty Insider video. With the game now available on Steam Early Access, we are back to doing the hard work prepping and creating the content that's coming to Medieval Dynasty in the nearby future. We have released our first major content drop a few weeks back and today we want to give you a glimpse of what's coming next to Medieval Dynasty. Now that we have added lightning and furnishing to your village, gameplay customization options, fishing mechanic, in-game events and road building, it is time that we move on to the next phase of our updates. Looking at the comments that you, our community, are leaving, we can see that riding is one of the most requested features. We can now say that we have been working on this mechanic for a few good solid months, testing it, seeing how it impacts the gameplay itself and making sure that it works and fits the overall picture. It's easy to add a horse to the game, but making sure that it rides well and that the systems behind the riding work well and feel great is another matter. Plus, we needed to work on its inventory and additional items too. We feel that we have something good prepared for you. We can't wait for you to try it out and tell us yourself about it. The next additions that are coming in the near future are new buildings and farming mechanics. One of the new additions that's coming to your village will be the stable. This is the place where you will be able to store and keep your trusty steed. We also improved our game's agriculture system. Now your farm animals can reproduce. This will create a more realistic feel to your village life and give you another layer to think about from both economical and management point of view. And as a sweet bonus, we are also introducing the sickle, another tool for your village arsenal. And finally, a little note on building limits and caps. We have heard your feedback and we noticed that many of you wanted for us to increase the limit cap on how many buildings we can have in our village. We rolled our sleeves and we did a lot of work on optimization on many elements to the game. Thanks to that work we were able to increase the limit, allowing you to build more buildings in your settlement. We hope that this will scratch that building itch some of you might have had. These few features that we showed you today, they are all part of the next major roadmap update that is coming soon. However, there is a lot more that we are working on and have planned for the foreseeable future. We have big content updates such as more buildings to the village, more craftable items, ingredients, chops and more. Pretty much we are not stopping on what we have so far. We hope that you enjoyed this glimpse into Medieval Dynasty's future. If you have any questions about what's coming or anything else for that matter, post it down below. And lastly, thank you for making Medieval Dynasty a success. Without you, this game would be nowhere near close to what it is today. Thank you for playing a huge part in shaping it. Until next time, stay healthy and bye bye.